Hi Daniel. Yeah, Rifa. I'm at Curtin. Now what? I thought coming to Uni World's gonna be easy, but Australian slang? It's like a different language. No worries, Cobra. You've come to the right bloke. I'll catch a sticky and I can drop by at Curtin Zavo and I'll give you the lowdown on Aussie slang. What? Welcome to I'm at Curtin, now what? I'm your host Devna, here to bust the secret of international students' life at Curtin, Perth, and beyond. Here we're at the Curtin University, and we're gonna crush a courses about Australian slang that you need to know when you're in Australia. Here with me, my friends Daniel. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Good, I'm good. How are you? How's uni? Um, yeah, good. Always busy. So where do you live in Australia? So I live at Kurudjong Village, I live on campus, but I'm actually from Busselton. Locals call it Busso. This is like the longest jetty in the Southern Hemisphere there. It's oh, great. So people call it Busso? Yeah, Australians love to shorten names and words. Can you like teach me some of the Australian slang? Yeah, sure. I've actually prepared some for you. First one's going to be relatively easy. I think you may have heard of it. Do you know Maccas? Maccas? Oh yeah, I, I heard it before. Um, it's McDonald. Yeah, that's right. All right. Okay, so this might be a bit tricky. Can you tell me the difference between Avo and Avo? Avo? Yeah. I don't know and I have no idea. Okay, so Avo means afternoon. Oh, Avo means afternoon? And Avo means avocado. They sound the I same, cannot. right? <laughs> yeah, it sounds the same. Afternoon, Avo, and avocado. Avocado. Avo. 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 Well, in the Avo, I like to have Avo toast. This next one might be tricky as well. Do you know Yui? Yui? I don't know to be honest, but I think it's like a yogurt? No. So maybe you're driving and you chuck a Yui. That made it worse, hey? <laughs> Is it about like speeding? Mm, no. Yui. It's driving related. Or if you went the wrong way, you would have to chuck a Yui. I have no idea at all. Okay, so it means U-turn. Oh, U-turn, Yui. All right, that's cool. Yeah, it's the same syllables. I don't know why we changed it. Maybe you won't know this one because you seem like um like a really good student. Do you know the word siki? Siki. Is it like cheating? Like you're doing assessment? Mm, no. So Australians like to shorten words. So the word it is is in there. Is it like si? If you're not feeling well, is it? Like... Well, not not always. You can just not show up, and it's still called chucking a siki. Oh, so it doesn't need to be any reason. It's just like when you leave the class. It's when you don't go to class. Maybe you're sick, but maybe you're not. This is classic Australian. Snag. Snag. Can you go pick up some snags from the... Oh, it's snack. Is it snack? Or like... No, not quite. Like it is a snack, but it doesn't mean snacks. We shorten words, but this isn't short for anything. I've got no idea where this slang comes from. Sounds like a snack um, for me, but... You have it on bread. Oh, is it Vegemite? Nah, no, you'd have Sorry. it at a barbecue. Oh, me? Is it me? Not quite. So you may have heard, I'm going to go to Bunnings and get a snack. I don't know, I give up. It's a sausage. Sausage, snacks. So Bunnings snack, there's always a barbecue out the front of Bunnings. So snacks just means sausage. Do you know what the difference between yeah, nah and na nah, yeah is? Yeah and na. Nah. Yeah, nah and na nah, yeah. Oh my god, right, Australian slang is like a totally different language. If I were to ask, are you free on the weekend and you said yeah, nah, or you could say na nah, yeah and they're different things. Maybe the possibility. If it's like yeah, nah, it's like yes. But no, yeah, it's like a no. It's the other way. So it's the last word. Yeah, nah means no. All right, so yeah, nah is no, no. and no, yeah is yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing for like maybe international students because when they receive that answer, they're going to be like, yeah or no, yeah or no. Do you think you could teach me some Indonesian slang? Oh, sure, sure. There's one word that I like to use it, mager. Mager. Yeah. Okay. So mager, it basically comes from malas gerak. In Indonesia, malas means you're lazy. <laughs> gerak is like you're moving. So when you combine it like malas gerak, it's like you're too lazy to do anything. <laughs> um, I don't want to go anywhere. I'm mager. That's a great word. One of my housemates is Indonesian, so I'll definitely use it on him. Well, thank you for teaching that to me. Thank you, yeah. Thank you so much for like teaching me the Australian slang too. Oh, my pleasure. So that's the end of the Aussie slang video. Hopefully you've all learned something. Now when you're at the curtain, you know what's up. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Let us know in the comment section what other type of content you love to see about international students' life at Curtin. See you later, mate. See ya!